Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm bringing today some activities we do while we are doing our Read Aloud, which is our chapter book. We also have a devotion book, a virtue book that we read out of, poems and songs, and then, of course, Mother Goose, our nursery rhymes. So I want to share with you how we keep our hands busy. I'll be right back. Okay, well, let's get started. I was trying to find some activities for my children to do while I am going through our read-alouds and just to occupy their hands, but I was concerned that they may not be hearing what I was reading and being able to memorize or to tell me what I read, but that was not the case. I ask them to share with me. They have memorized poems. They have learned their nursery rhymes. So I thought I would get together and ask my children some things they would like to have in their caddies. So I made them each a caddy and some busy bags and I'm going to share those with you. So why we're doing our um, daily devotion, this is the one we're doing right now. It's the Purpose Driven Life, 100 Illustrated Devotions for Children. We go through one of these a day. The next book that we're using are Treasures of Virtues, Courage, Love, and Honesty. It has some beautiful um, stories in it. And just, we love reading these. So we um, read a page at a time or a page and a half. Then we go through our... It's Julie Andrews, Treasures for All Seasons. And this has poems and songs. And right now, for the month of July, we're reading a couple different ones. So we have fireworks that we're doing. We're also doing 4th of July. And we're just talking about 4th of July in America and what we did and the things that people do and how do they celebrate traditions for the 4th of July. So we read through this and we try to memorize some of the lines, which they do pretty well at. And then we have our the real Mother Goose and we are going through different nursery rhymes and we are we are working on the Little Black Hen and they have this all memorized. So I'm very proud of them. And we just go through um, each month we pick a new one and I pick different books to choose from, but this one we're doing Real Mother Goose for the month of July. We love the nursery rhymes in here. Then, of course, we have uh, the read aloud that we're doing, which is the chapter book. It's Mercy Watson. We're going through the whole series, and this is Princess in Disguise, and they absolutely love this book. So it's got some funny pictures in there, bright and colorful, and we just go through each chapter and um, then we go on to the next book. But we just take our time, we're not in a rush to read. I want them to comprehend and to learn. And I ask them, even being smaller, uh, preschool age, if they can tell me like a little oral narration. Tell me a little bit about what they remember. And they do fantastic at it. So they are learning and comprehending as they're playing and keeping their hands busy. Their mind is, and their ears are still open to what I'm reading. So that makes me very happy. Um, first off, I made a bunch of busy bags, which I'll share with you. I take those to um, doctor's appointments. You can take those in the car, while you're traveling, restaurants, wherever you feel that you would need those or keep their little hands busy. Um, but I do, I did make up some caddies and I picked these up at Target and they're the little, I don't know if you can see those, the little handle caddies so they can carry their own. I asked them to share with me um, their favorite color, which I knew most all of theirs, but to make sure it hadn't changed. And then I went ahead and filled these, and they will take these and set down on our circle rug, on their square, and they will be able to pick out of here the things that they would like to play with. Our rule is that we can drag one thing out, take one thing out. So let's say they want to do their puzzle. 
I put puzzles in here and they will spell words because we're we learned the phonetic sounds of all the alphabet and now we are working on making CVC words so consonant vowel consonants they can take that out once they're done they can put it back I also have um, for the boys they picked these superheroes they figures that they wanted to have so I put those in there um, I also put in dinosaurs they're nice and bright and colorful so they can do a little dinosaur acting out I got some Wixie sticks so they can make different shapes and letters different things um, I also got these little cram boxes at the Dollar Tree I, I absolutely love them and then these are kind of like um, brain flakes but they're different shapes and you click them together and they can make um, make whatever they would like design they would like out of them so I keep them down in here the next I got um, these are little to hold bars of soap, which most people use the hand pumps, but you can still find these. And this is kind of a Montessori um, or Charlotte Mason way of learning for developing their muscles and their fingers and their pincer grip. So what they do, I have a little tube here with a little lid. These were from the Dollar Tree also. And then I got some of the beads and they're going to take the beads and they take them out and they start so they would pick one up they pinch it together they put it on here and they just follow the pattern all the way around till it's completely filled they absolutely love doing this and it takes a lot of concentration and skill and they fill all of it up so when i'm reading they do that so that was a fun activity that I have chosen for and I'll keep these and change them out I have several things I can do um, they also the boys like to have cars we also have these squares that connect together and they make roads out of these so this is a puzzle so they can learn math they can do concepts of adding and they can also use it for a little track for their cars that they would like they each have little dinosaurs that are on wheels these are from Target and they love playing with dinosaurs and then I also have in here they can turn these all over so this um, they came in different colors these were last year and they spend there's a string and they can turn them and twist them and they love fidgeting with stuff like this while we're reading so those are the things that I have in here for right now I do also have one um, this is one of the little girls I have in my school and I have a little dolly in there for her to play with um, she, um, I put dinosaurs in theirs also. I did, however, instead of the superheroes, they love unicorns. So I put different colors in there and put unicorns in there for them to play with. And the nice little lids, these all came from the Dollar Tree that is snapped shut. So she has that, her dolly, the same, um, dinosaur. She has the little, um, shapes she can put together. And her favorite color is green, so I chose green and her puzzle so that she can put that together. So I made those up for each one of them. And then I made some busy bags. And this one, I like this one. Um, I just took some foam shapes that I got from the Dollar Tree. And that's all of these right here. And then I picked out all the square cards and the different colors. And they'll need to match these. So they can match these to the color. They can also build different shapes um, with the squares. And then I have a pad in here. And it's got sharks on it. It's got comes with crayons. This is from Target. And you open it up. You just flip the flap. There's your crayons. And then on this side, there's a pad. So they can write on it. I do have stickers in there also. Um, that they can add to put stickers on that if they would like. So this is one of the busy bags they have. I also have, I connect all my busy bags. So I get these, all of these see-through are 97 cents at Walmart. I just picked up, I believe, eight more. And then I connect them with rings to hold them together. So we can just flip through and they can tell me which busy bag they'd like. This one is all about, um, it has colors. They have Legos they'll put together. They have cards that they will match. And so that is that one. This one, uh, they have a dry erase. They have Go Fish, a card game, and then a whale puzzle they will put together. 
This one has some rubber duckies in it. It talks about colors. They'll match the ducks to the colors. And this is tell me a story. So they will look at the pictures and try to determine what that story is about. And then this one is about fruits. And I have all the different fruit in there. And then I got the small little tiny Legos for them to hook together. So they'll look up for apple. They'll match the apple and the orange and grape, strawberry and watermelon. So I put these and these are all just little watermelons or I'm sorry, these are all little erasers and they love matching things. So that's one pack that I made and I have several of these. I'm just going to share a few with you. This one is um, just a little notebook here that says crayons on it really cute. I picked a bunch of different ones of these up. They've been drawing, as you can see. They put stickers in here. They have been coloring. I got some crayons in there, and then I have some foam shapes that they can um, build with in this one. This one right here, they have frogs in here. They have number flashcards. They have a pad, stickers, and a um, some crayons in this one. And then this one, I put in words that are opposite so they'll put puzzles together they also can do dino matching and then they can um, have stickers and there's a book in there just a plain book that they can put stickers in so i have some of those um for some of the older children uh, mine are all like four but they're learning phonics so i have some bigger bags and i got these at target and inside here i put in um, phonics, flashcards, flashcards, practicing good manners. I also have a wheel to start practicing their beginning sounds. So, sh is on this side, and then th is on that side. And then they have stickers and a book they can start putting their, spelling their name, putting the alphabet, putting uh, all the uh, vowels together on a sheet and showing me those. So, this is uh, one for somebody a little bit older, and that's always fun to do. Then we have, um, let me see the last one that I will share with you. This one has, and I love these bags. They're so bright and cheerful. This one has popsicles on it. So this one I thought was super cute. And this one in here has Go Fish. Uh, this is good for on the road because it has 100 things for little children to do on a trip. So we took put those cards in there, and then I have these cards, practice being a good citizen flashcards. So when someone lets you borrow an item of his or hers, make sure you take it back in the same condition you borrowed it in. So just some good cards for them to go through. Instead of throwing paper and plastic in the trash, you should recycle it. So these are just some really good cards and things that they need to learn and good values. Um, these are larger stickers. They like to a lot of times spell their name or make CVC words or just they love the rainbow letters. And then there's a pad for them to stick those through and they can keep a book. I have books um, that I got from Target that are just plain books and they keep those and they take them home with them once they're filled. So those are some of the busy bags that we have that we enjoy doing and the caddies that we like for our read-alouds. So that's just some information I wanted to share with you. Just make a quick video on that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this and have enjoyed this one, go ahead and click the notification bell and hit subscribe. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if there's any questions you have about any of the material that I use, please leave a comment below and I would be happy to answer it. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, blessed afternoon.